sketch the graph of y is equal to log base 10 of x minus 5 plus 3. Now this is a log graph so and this is a transformation of log base 10 of 5. So let me write the graph, let me write the equation of y is equal to log base 10 of x. So let us draw the graph of this. Now this, when it is transformed, uh, the transformation happens. So what has happened? This x minus phi tells me this graph has gone phi to the right. So I'll write in a vector form. So it has gone phi to the right and it has gone 3 up. So when this graph or this graph of y is equal to uh, log base 10 of x has transformed by this vector, you get this uh, function which is log base 10. We'll confirm this graphically and also on the calculator x minus 5 plus 3. So let us first uh, graph this equation. So let me use a different color. So let me take some points when x and y is equal to log base 10 of x. So I hope you know the log rules. So log of 0 is undefined. Okay, so log, if you put 0 here, log of 0 is undefined. So in other words, your y-axis is the asymptote. So log of 0 is undefined. When you take 1, log of 1 is 0. Okay, so let's sh let me show that on a calculator. So if you press log of 0 is maths error, it's undefined. And log of 1, sorry, log of 1 is 0. Okay, so and the next neat point that you can take is 10. When x is 10, log base 10 of 10 is 1. Okay, so let's plot these points. So this implies your y your y axis is an asymptote. So your y axis is an asymptote. I keep asymptote. So this is how you spell asymptote. So let us draw an asymptote. An asymptote by convention is shown by a dotted line. So this is your y-axis. That means your function is not defined when x is equal to 0. Okay. So as you come, okay, so the graph, let us plot the points first. So this is undefined. So this is 1, 0. And the next need point is 10, 1. So let us understand what happens as x approaches as x approaches 0. As x approaches 0, your y value will be approaching negative infinity. So let me show you that. So, so let us say log of 0 0.1 is negative 1. So what happens if it's log of 0 0.01? It's negative 2. If you put, let's say, 0 0.001, that is negative 3. So I hope you can see this as this number approaches zero, this number would be approaching infinity. So let me put a number which is almost zero or very, very close, zero, zero, zero. Okay, so this is very close to zero and this would be minus seven. So as, in other words, when x approaches, and that's what the asymptote does. Okay, so let me write that in a different color. As, as x approaches, zero, your y, your y, so let me, then your y is approaching negative infinity. Okay, so the graph, when you're graphing that, this is how you show it. So the next need point would be 100. Log of 100 is 2. So it's very difficult. You can't show, can't, you can draw that. So if you go log of 100 is 2. Log of 1000 is 3. I hope you can see, because 100 is 10 squared and 1000 is 10 cubed, okay, and so on. So the graph, in other words, the log graph can model a growth which is very slow. So the graph would go somewhat like this. There's only a sketch, 
and this will be SM toting towards infinity. So this is never going to touch this y-axis. So this is your graph of, this is your graph of log base 10 of x. So this graph is the graph of y is equal to log base 10 of x. I told you this graph is the transformation of this graph, or this log base 10 of x. So what has happened? This whole graph has moved, this has moved phi to the right. So your asymptote now would become, your asymptote, so let me, okay, draw a new asymptote. So asymptote now, your, if your graph has moved phi to the right, your asymptote has also moved phi to the right. So this line, this line is now the asymptote because the graph has transformed phi to the right. So this line I'll call, this is x is equal to phi. Okay, and this line, your y-axis is x is equal to zero. Okay, now, this point, so each point has done this transformation. So this point, one, zero, so this point is, say, one, zero. One, zero has moved phi to the right, so I'll co count phi, one, two, three, four, uh, one, two, three, four, phi, uh, and three up, okay, am I doing it right? Yeah, so one, uh, one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, oh yeah, I've done a mistake here, so I was wondering what was happening here, this is one, so this is five, okay, yes, oops, so I hope you can see now, I was wondering what's happening with that. Okay, so yeah, your asymptote, this is your x is equal to 5. So this point has moved 5 to the right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 3 up. 1, 2, 3. So this is the need point. So this is the transformation. So this point is 6, 3. So your graph, this graph will pass through this point. This point has moved 5 to the right. So from 10, you're going to 15, and then you're going 3 up. One, two, three. So this is the next point, which is 15, comma, four. This is 15, comma, four. And this is enough to draw the, and your asymptote is x is equal to five. So your graph, I'll use a brown color. This is, we'll confirm this on a calculator. This is going like this, and it's asymptoting towards this line which is x is equal to 5. Okay, so let us get the calculator out. So menu, go to graph and type in log bracket. Uh, okay, so let me write the equation of the graph. So this graph, the equation of this graph is y is equal to log base 10 of x minus 5 plus 3. Okay, so let us graph this on a calculator. So log, you don't need to write base because the base is by default 10, x minus 5 plus 3. Okay, and see this is your graph, so let us scroll this to this side. Okay, and scroll it up, so this is your graph. And we're going to type in, uh, type x is equal to 5, and you can see the graph. So this is the asymptote, and this is your graph. So we'll check when x is 6, y should be 3. So g solve, y calc, when x is 6, when x is 6, y is 3. And the next point is uh, y calc, when x is 15. Okay, so the argument, so your scale is not proper. Uh, so so let, us, let me delete this. Okay. A scale we should go say up to x up to 20 okay and I think now we we'll can g solve y calc when x is 15 when x is 15 y is 4 so we have confirmed that this is the transformation of this basic log graph